What's up everybody? Welcome back to Exotica Slot again and I've been getting many requests to make these videos on the transit of Mars into Mula Nakshatra. Recently one of my friends from India he called me and he said oh my god there are so many accidents which are happening. Alright so and so many of you have also asked me that oh my god what's going to happen Mula Nakshatra <laughs> and it's in Sagittarius and then it's with Saturn so it is a important thing which is happening in the sky and I attempted to do a live session yesterday but uh, the the problem with my dorm is the signal in this room is very weak due to some reason I don't know <laughs> and that is why uh, I made a short video but uh, it was not a very long video I could not explain things in detail so in this video I'll be doing that alright so if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then approach me through my website the description is there in the um, i mean the link is there in the description below and if you like this video share it with those who are worried will there be an accident or a bomb blast yes and basically uh, that's what i wanted to uh, share regarding mars and saturn so i'll be making uh, two or three videos so this video i'll be speaking on mars and then I will be speaking on Saturn in the next video and then on the conjunction I will be speaking in the third video. And today luckily at 8 p.m. Uh, European time I am also interviewing uh, the great uh, James Braha sir. So uh, he will be answering some of my questions and maybe we can also discuss some of the example charts. Well I am not very sure about it so today uh, night I will be uh, recording the video and maybe by the end of this weekend I will be uploading it yes okay so stay tuned till he comes and enlightens all of us all right so there you go God is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you get over this Mars Saturn transit so now what's happening is Saturn is in Purva Shada Nakshatra about which we will discuss in the next video but now Mars is also in the same sign Mars is in the first nakshatra within Sagittarius. I have not discussed on nakshatras but what are nakshatras basically? They are they are that which gives flavor to a zodiac sign. Yes. So basically when they say that Sagittarius people are very much down to earth. Down to earth doesn't mean humble but they are always thinking of their roots because they are very much inquisitive about spirituality. Yes, by that I don't mean if you have sun, moon in Sagittarius. I mean if Sagittarius is a very prominent uh, zodiac sign in your chart, then I say that Sagittarius people. All right. So now nobody should say, oh, I am born on December 15th to January 15th and uh, my sun is in Sagittarius. So I am not like this. So it depends on the whole chart, but I am speaking of the zodiac sign here in general. So Sagittarius people, they are always very much thinking of their roots and the places and areas where they belong and then they are very much hopeful yes and they want to implement the things also now why these things are there because the Sagittarius zodiac sign is divided into if you divide it into three parts 13 degree 20 minutes each the first 1320 comes to the nakshatra of Mula yes so nakshatras are those which flavor the zodiac sign so nakshatras are basically what the zodiac sign is ultimately about so it's like you go to a home and then you find there's a drawing room and then there's a living room and then there's a toilet <laughs> yes so um, just because you have gone to the home it doesn't mean that uh, you are just gone to the home inside the home you go to one place right and then within that also it is divided into padas four padas every nakshatra about which we will discuss later in detail but now what's happening is Sagittarius is having two planets. The first planet it has in the first nakshatra which is Mula nakshatra uh, where Mars is situated. So now to understand Mula nakshatra and Sagittarius we have to bit understand what the sign of Scorpio is first of all because without understanding Scorpio we cannot understand what Sagittarius is. Uh, I have made a video on how to get rid of uh, no, not read I think how to get freedom from Libra and Scorpio yes so you can watch that video to understand more what Scorpio energy is but here what I'm going to talk is Scorpio uh, is the original eighth house of the zodiac yes we all know that it's number eight where moon gets debilitated so basically uh, Scorpio is uh, those things which give us attachment so attachment makes us very helpless so 
whenever we get attached to something that gives us a lot of pain when that thing is taken away so that's the predicament of scorpio it is co-ruled by ketu and ketu is the planet of separation so the material world has been designed in such a way because lord krishna says in the gita that it's dukhalam ashashvatam yes so the material world is designed in such a way that the moment you get attached to something that thing is taken away from you yes so we see in this world that men and women they will indulge in physical things in loving romancing each other kissing hugging and then after some time they will separate yes so that separation gives them a lot of pain and a lot of suffering a lot of agony so all these all those things are represented by the sign of scorpio psychological baggage poison basically now the la- now within scorpio again there are three nakshatras so the last nakshatra of scorpio which is known as the jeshtha nakshatra so that is having uh, some uh, that that is having major major uh, issues when it comes to the uh, scandals which scorpio people face sometimes yes so scorpio is also the sign of scandals which is the original 8th house so what happens is jeshtha nakshatra has that story linked with indra and ahilya and gautam rishi's curse okay about which some other day day i will explain that's a long story but what i mean to say is that in the sign of scorpio there's a lot of turbulence and when we are in the sign of scorpio we are going through that turbulence and jeshtha nakshatra also shows our ability to rise to the top because indra is the king yes he is the king of the heaven so he always wants to stay at the top he always wants to hold 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 on to his assets yes holding <laughs> not not able to let go of the things yes so that is where the challenge comes so in the nakshatra of jeshtha so we 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 always see that when uh, somebody is doing some penance then indra will go and try to elude that person by sending apsara and then seducing that person yes and then so many other things if he if the demons attack the heavens then what happens then he will go to lord brahma and then lord vishnu and then lord vishnu will take avatar and then he will kill the demons now demons are to be killed that's perfectly fine but what i am stressing here is indra will do anything to stay at the position yes because so that is the trait of the jeshtha nakshatra that we try to hold on try to cling on to things yes which we are attached the same trait is there in ashlesha nakshatra which is again at the end of cancer which is another water sign so because water represents moksha yes so any planet in jeshtha can give us that competitive spirit of wanting to prove things to others wanting to be somebody wanting to be like indra basically so now when we are struggling in that zodiac sign now because it is a moksha house yes 4 8 12 are moksha houses the water signs so because of that what happens ultimately as lord krishna says in the gita that manashasthani indriyani prakriti sthani karshati that the living entity is working very hard and then he is foaming at his mouth and then still sometimes <laughs> all our results are uh, all our actions are baffled yes as i say man proposes and god disposes so uh, the other day somebody was telling me that oh he planned this and then something else happened so jeshtha nakshatra can show that frustrating nature of this material world where we try to become the jeshtha jeshtha is the eldest yes which means we try to dominate others we try to put ourselves on others throw ourselves on others yes we try to force people to do things which they don't like to do yeah? so when we do that we end up getting a lot of suffering as happened to indra indra got cursed by gautam rishi at the end that i mean after that past time that uh, you will have a thousand uh, yonis in your body which got l- later got converted to a uh, thousand eyes but whatever it is he lost his reputation name fame and he suffered although later on he gained it back so the point here is scorpio's most turbulent part because that is signified by jeshtha nakshatra so when any planet is transiting there whichever houses that planet is ruling those houses can have that kind of a nature yes so for example suppose uh, you are having uh, any ascendant let's take the example of taurus suppose so for taurus ascendants mars rules the 7th house because the sign of scorpio is in the 7th house why i'm taking the example of uh, taurus because now mars becomes your 7th lord and 
uh, here what's happening suppose mars was transiting in scorpio itself yes because mars was in scorpio now so then what would happen is now you may say oh that's own sign now that's fine but what i'm saying is even though it is own sign when it was transiting jeshtha nakshatra then there could have been uh, indications with inside your marriage that you are trying to prove each other yes that oh i am happy without you i don't need you <laughs> trying to prove to others how great you are yes so either you or your partner or your marriage could have these dynamics yes so suppose you are a aries ascendant then you yourself could be behaving like that because your lagna lord was transiting uh, in jeshtha nakshatra and lot of up things were coming out yes so now what happens is when the energy flows from scorpio where jeshtha nakshatra ends the last 3 degrees be in the gandanta zone and then comes sagittarius where mula nakshatra is there yes so mula nakshatra's first 3 degrees is also gandanta zone gandanta zone means a lot of uh, karmic things are coming out from the past and there's a lot of karmic psychological baggage which need to be cleared that can be good or bad both ways but there's a lot of transformation and a lot of reversals and a lot of change which the person undergoes yes some unfailable karma comes through the gandanta zones so now what happens is in scorpio in the nakshatra of jeshtha that's what basically happens we try everything to prove to the world that we are great right <laughs> and then uh, all our efforts are baffled and then we come to mula nakshatra where where the sign of sagittarius begins yes and as i said the nakshatras will give a flavoring to what sagittarius is ultimately so what happened is when mars transited to through jeshtha whichever houses mars was ruling yes those areas could have undergone those kind of dynamics pertaining to jeshtha so for example if your 10th lord was mars then you could have been realizing that oh i was behaving like that when it came to my career yes or if scorpio is in your 10th house then your workplace would have those dynamics because mars was transiting there or if your fourth lord suppose you are a capricorn ascendant and your mars is the fourth lord yes for capricorn so then your education or your mother yes or something pertaining to your home some quarrels those things could have come into the surface where a jeshtha kind of energy would have uh, surpassed you and you would have been like oh my god what just happened yes so now what happens is uh, when our all our efforts uh, are baffled then we enter mula nakshatra which is the sign of uh, sagittarius which is enlightenment divinity because it's the original ninth house of the zodiac which is spirituality enlightenment yes but just because we have entered uh, the sign of sagittarius it doesn't mean that we have become enlightened now enlightenment means i don't say you, we have perfected spirituality i am not saying of perfection here but as soon as we enter sagittarius it doesn't mean that we have understood what god is or who god is what spirituality is that's why you see in this world there are so many confusions who god is nobody knows somebody says oh this is god that is god somebody says there is no god somebody says god is light somebody says god is impersonal there are very less 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 people i know in this planet alive who actually know the ultimate truth yes as the shrimad bhagavatam says the uh, ultimate truth the absolute truth that many less there are very few handful people who know it so the point is when we enter sagittarius we have to first cross the zone of mula nakshatra which shows uprooting things yes so now i will not go to all those details of what mula is and niriti the goddess of destruction and all those those you can find in google that's not important i mean you can know that but what i'm saying here is i will tell what exactly mula is so when we try our best in the materialistic society yes which is represented by jeshtha nakshatra then we get frustration and then we enter sagittarius and then what happens we realize that those things did not work now we have to change the pattern we have to build new grass roots yes which are based on spiritual foundations see suppose mula nakshatra would come in the sign of libra <laughs> see that's how that's how you have to understand everything is spiritually linked mula nakshatra is one of the nakshatras or probably or perhaps the only nakshatra which shows our foundation yes i mean there are other nakshatras also but this 
nakshatra strongly shows something related to foundation now why has this nakshatra been given in sagittarius only why not in capricorn why not in libra why not in scorpio i am asking about libra or scorpio because that means when we are doing foundations we should do it on the sign of sagittarius which is what spirituality otherwise it's like building castles on air yes so now we understood that oh these things are not going to work we need to become more spiritual and then what happens we have those baggages psychological baggages those desires which came from scorpio or jeshta nakshatra yes and then now we throw them and we plant new things that is what mula nakshatra is so you will find many videos on mula nakshatra in youtube but they will not tell you from where this energy is coming why they say that mula nakshatra is another nakshatra for psychological baggage even though it is in the sign of sagittarius because just because it is in sagittarius it doesn't mean that you have reached divinity yes it doesn't mean that necessarily now when you are in the mula nakshatra which means if somebody has a certain planet and to the degree it is ahead yes within mula nakshatra to that degree it can represent that to that degree we have a uh, thrown out the baggage which we had in our past lifetimes and now we are planting new seeds now we are planting new roots as they say na mool tatva the root the grass roots so now what happens is suppose mars is your lagna lord i know uh, some aries ascendants that is why i am quoting the examples <laughs> so uh, now uh, they were saying me that from from the time by the beginning of this month i guess mar or near by that time mars had entered mula nakshatra yes so they said to me exclusively that their life has undergone such a level of transformation you can't believe it they have said to me that their lives have gone upside down things have gone haywire everything is crazy in their life i said hold on till 31st things will be like that because till 30 31st mars will still be in mula nakshatra and now mars is the lagna lord for aries so that means they their whole life is now becoming very foundation oriented yes so all those things which they wanted which they thought they will work work out it did not work out probably or probably it worked out and now you are planting new things or probably it, it didn't work out and now you are uprooting those things and you are putting new things yes so if you are a capricorn ascendant then it can happen that some things pertaining to your finances 11th house or the 4th house which mars rules those things now you are grinding suppose you are a phd student and you are a capricorn ascendant then now it may happen that your guide asks you my dear sir my dear madam are you going to continue this phd or not <laughs> if yes then start if no then throw it out yes this can happen with capricorn ascendant till the time uh, you are on uh, 24 31st march because mars is in mula nakshatra yes so that is what is happening so whichever houses areas mars is ruling we are now very diligently making difficult decisions to uproot things yes so suppose you are a libra ascendant or you are a taurus ascendant then your seventh house is undergoing these dynamics yes so suppose there was some issue pertaining to relationships for libra and for taurus which was bogging you 24 hours oh this girl was there that boy was there now it can happen that when your seventh lord mars is transiting in mula nakshatra whichever house it is those things have been thrown out <laughs> which means either that person will stay in your life and your relationship will improve you will have new foundations or that person will be thrown out yes so this also becomes more profound due to the fact that saturn is also there in uh, uh, purva shada nakshatra which is the next nakshatra so regarding saturn i will be uh, speaking in the next video or uh, tomorrow so you can stay be uh, you can be uh, waiting till that uh, video to come so uh, that's what i wanted to say that now once when mars finishes the uh, this mula nakshatra then we go into purva shada nakshatra which is the sign of divine enlightenment yes sign i mean the nakshatra it shows hope basically all the beautiful traits of sagittarius beautiful i mean Uh, all the uh, traits of sagittarius pertaining to uh, god all those things belief faith all those things are coming from purva shada nakshatra and then comes uttara shada where we try to practically implement those things where the sign of capricorn begins 
all right so this is how you study the nakshatras and this is how you understand why the progression is happening like that yes why mula is coming after jeshta because there's a lot of baggage in jeshta a lot of things which we wanted and we could not do maybe or we are still trying to do and when it comes to mula mula is like binary either here or there either you are in or you are out there's nothing between yes so now when mars is there in mula nakshatra it becomes very important that we take a reality check on what which areas that mars is ruling yes are those areas giving us fulfillment if not then it's good that we throw them out of our life that doesn't mean that if you have some fights with your partner and if you are a Taurus Lagna or a Libra Lagna, you say that I want a divorce. No, it's not like that. It simply means that whatever problems are there, you try to solve it. Mula Nakshatra is the Nakshatra for solving problems. So if you don't do it now, you will not get a time to do it later. Taurus and Libra people. Suppose you are a Capricorn and then you are doing some education uh, thing. Your fourth lord because Mool Trikon sign is in the fourth house, yes? So then matters pertaining to your education or suppose you are planning to change your home, then do it now before 31st. This is the best time. So now the energy of the universe is harmonious with this. So that's the best thing you can do. And if you are an Aries or a Scorpio rising, then your entire life is undergoing this uh, change where your Lagna Lord itself is transiting in Mula Nakshatra. So this is the best time to build roots on spiritual foundations and then advance towards Purvashada, which is the sign of divine enlightenment, hope and God, spirituality, wisdom and all this. Yes. So now you build your foundation. So suppose you are a Scorpio ascendant, then now is the time that you decide that, oh, I need to start some meditation because my Lagna Lord is going there. Because without meditation and spiritual practices, I am hovering around on the material platform without much substance. So now I need to build strong foundations on the basis of God because Sagittarius contains Mula. Libra doesn't contain Mula. Yes. <laughs> if Libra would contain Mula, then everybody's determination of uh, what is there on the grassroots would be based on what is good and bad in relationships. Yes. Thank God Mula doesn't come there. <laughs> and if Mula would come in Capricorn, everybody would be like, oh, I will change my careers. I will take new careers. No, it's not like that. Mula comes only in Sagittarius. That means the base has to be of spirituality. So, Whichever houses Mars is ruling, yes, suppose Mars is your fifth lord, suppose. Then you have to take new resolutions pertaining to mantras, yes. For example, if you are a Cancer ascendant, then Mars will rule your uh, fifth house. The sign Scorpio is there. So then now your fifth lord is going into sixth house. That's perfect. Fifth lord in the sixth means what? Mantras and your daily life are becoming in tune, yes. So that's per perhaps the best thing you can have, right? Now, fifth lord in the sixth can have some other difficulties. That's a separate topic. But what I'm saying here is whichever houses Mars is ruling in your chart, have a note on them. And because Mars is a very aggressive planet, it is good if we take action pertaining to those things, okay? So it's been quite a long video. <laughs> I thought I'll make it short, but as usual, videos become very long when I wanted to make one want to make it short, okay? So thank you very much for bearing with me for so long and today I'll be recording the video with uh, James Brahaji and in the weekend I'll be uploading, alright? So the bottom line of this video is use this time very powerfully. Mula Nakshatra is one of the best Nakshatras in the zodiac if we see it spiritually. Otherwise, people can go on complaining. Oh. In South India, they say Mula Nakshatra is a cursed Nakshatra. Recently, I met one of my friends. His name is Parth Sarthi. He's from Chennai, South India. And he told me, oh, I got the proposal of a girl. And we wanted to match the horoscopes. But she had her moon in Mula Nakshatra. <laughs> and then some astrologer told that, oh, Mula Nakshatra is terrible. This has this dosh, this shrap, this problem, that problem. And that is why we cancelled the proposal. I said, oh my God, who in the universe told you like that? Those things are only valid with Mula Nakshatra if you are getting too much indulgent in materialistic things like sexuality especially, yes? So then you then you <coughs> develop a lot of perversity, yes? Again, I, I can go on speaking on this, but the video will become long. So what I'm saying is, if you have spiritual foundations, then Mula Nakshatra is the best Nakshatra to have. It is equally good at par with nakshatras like 
Pushya nakshatra especially which is considered to be the most fulfilling and nourishing of all the nakshatras yes where jupiter finds its peak exaltation in 5 degrees of cancer so we'll discuss more on nakshatras in the future sessions of course and many of you have requested me to make so many other videos which i will be making it is all there in the list but my only request is be patient hold on yes because i cannot make 1000 videos in one day yes so you need to be patient all right so if you ask me i will say i will make it later okay so that is it from my side if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website the link is there in the description below and if you like this video <laughs> then share it with somebody else and click the thumbs up all right until next time wish you good luck with saturn transit into purvashada nakshatra okay bye bye see you Thank <laughs> you.